In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Hello, everyone. I'm Father Alan Wiersba, along with Deacon Kyle Leyland and the seminarians of the Diocese of La Crosse. We're very pleased to be able to pray with you this morning as we gather together in, on this 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, Amen. and on earth peace to people of good will. We bless you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you praise, we thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that, loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord, and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. The nations on the earth 
of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you Gentiles. Inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles, I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed, in order that, by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus' homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may have noticed over the last few weeks that Jesus has been testing people's faith in him as the Son of God. Both Jews and Gentiles have had their faith tested. Is Jesus the true Messiah, or is he a false Messiah like so many others before him? That's the question the people had to wrestle with. The woman whom Jesus is conversing with in the gospel was a Canaanite woman. They were enemies of the Jews. They didn't worship God as the Jewish people did, but rather Canaanites worshipped many gods. So Jesus tests her faith in him as the one true Son of God. He wants to know if she really has faith in the one true God or if she is just looking for an easy cure. He said to her, I have was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, please help me. 
Remember last week when Peter tried walking on the water, and as soon as he began sinking, he cried out to Jesus for help. Remember the text said, immediately Jesus reached out and grabbed him. And then Jesus spoke about how little faith Peter had at that moment. Well, Peter was in the immediate danger of drowning. This woman is not. So Jesus pushes her a bit further to express her faith in him. He said in reply, it's not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. This woman's faith and love for her daughter was stronger than any test, so she begs Jesus to just give her daughter a scrap of his healing power. Even a little healing will be better than where she's at now. And her daughter was healed from that hour. Jesus tested her faith in him, and she withstood the challenge. Two weeks ago, the gospel was about the feeding of the 5,000. You may recall on that occasion how Jesus tested Philip's faith by asking him what they should do to feed all these people. Jesus has been with the disciples for a while now, and he was trying to find out where they stand in their belief in him as the Son of God. And remember Philip's despair that even a year's worth of wages would not buy enough food for all the people. And so Philip's advice to Jesus was to just send the people home, to not feed them. Philip's faith in Jesus Christ was weak at best. Another of Jesus' disciples, Andrew, does a little better in the faith department when he mentions that there was a young man with five barley loaves and two fish. There wasn't a lot of faith in his response, but there was at least a little bit. But of course, that's all that our Lord Jesus needs. Jesus can work with even a little faith from us. With a little faith from Peter last week, he was able to walk on water with Jesus. With a little faith from the Canaanite woman today, Jesus was able to cure her daughter. So what about us today? Well, Jesus asks only for some faith that he can work with, and occasionally our faith is tested. It's difficult to pray, your will be done. But it ultimately says, I don't know why I'm going through what I'm going through, Lord, but I trust you that you are there with me. Place your trust in Jesus, like the figures in the gospel, like Peter, like Andrew, like the Canaanite woman. And Jesus will feed you too. Let us now stand and pray. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten from my name, consubstantially of the Father, through him all things are made, for us men, for our salvation, he came out from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord of glory, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Beloved, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ that not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for all who are in need. For those who do not yet believe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For good weather and the fruits of the earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of our diocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we come before you with faith and love and praise your goodness and to acknowledge our need. We ask you to hear the prayers we make in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen.
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, <coughs> holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. It's on a roll. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Shepherd of souls, refresh and bless your chosen pilgrim flock. With manna in the wilderness, with water from the rock, we would not live by bread alone, but by your word of grace, in strength of which. We travel on to our abiding place. He known to us in breaking bread, but do not then depart. Savior, abide with us and spread your table in our heart. Let us pray. O 
made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. God's blessing sends us forth, strengthen for our task on earth, refreshed in soul and renewed in mind. May God with us remain through us the Spirit reign that Christ be known to human kind. God's news is spoken word, joyfully our hearts have heard. Thank you for tuning in the Sunday Mass. We thank you for being with us as we celebrate the Mass each week, especially for the sick and the homebound. We ask you that if it is within your power to contribute to financially to these masses, that you do so, and we would certainly appreciate it. Be assured of our thoughts and our prayers for you and your families. God be with you. Mayo Clinic Specialty Care. One of America's top neonatologists and the NICU team improve the odds for at-risk newborns. Technology brings specialists to hospital rooms at the speed of light. Advanced technology makes incredible surgical precision possible. It's here in La Crosse. Mayo Clinic Health System.